Hey golfers, Bridge Sherrock here, and today we're on the 13th hole out of Cowboys Golf Club. This hole measures 594 from the back tees and plays the number two handicap hole on the course. This is a very difficult hole. Let's check it out. Now that we've previewed the hole, let's talk about today's lesson. Today, I want to improve your driver sequence. You may ask, what is driver sequence? Well, first we have to talk about proper setup with the driver. So what we want to do is line the club up with our lead foot, line our hands up with our lead shoulder. This makes a nice straight line down the lead side of our body. Ideally, when we get back to impact with the driver, we want to be in the same straight line position. Well, if we get too early with the hips, the face may be open, we may block it to the right. If we come over the top and flip it, we may pull it to the left or hit a big slice. So I wanna show you this quick, easy drill that will improve your sequence. When we get up here to the top, what I want you to do is hold the club. Then you're gonna make a little squat and turn with the knees and then swing the club. What we're trying to do in this drill here is get up to the top, Feel that we make a weight transfer to our left side with a little rotation in the knees and then swing the club so it meets up with our lead side again. So we're going to get up here to the top, squat and turn, and swing the club. Check out this lesson that I did with one of my students and you'll see how we improved his driver sequence and made him a better golfer. We'll see you guys next time. Thanks. So what I want to do here is try to improve the sequence through the ball and get the club more in front of you. Because you're a lot shorter at the top, but it, with the driver, as you're coming through, the hips are out in front, we lose our width and our space, and then you hit down on the ball and hit it low, and you're launching it low. So what I want us to do is take our setup. We're gonna go up to the top. You're gonna kind of squat and turn and then swing the arms, okay? okay? But when you squat and turn, you're gonna hold that for a second and then swing the arms through, okay? okay. So we'll go, now? yeah. We're gonna go up. There, like that, okay? Let's try it again here. Okay. All right, so go up to the top for me. A little uh, up higher. The hands, there you go. Okay, so get up here now. You're going to kind of squat, and but you're, when you squat, I want you to turn the knee like that. And then from there, you're just going to let the arms pass, like you're going to make it whoosh, like, and then follow it. Okay. Go up, squat, and like that. Good. Okay. Now, as you swing through, follow the club, get up through the shot. Yeah, don't stay back on it. There you go. Good. A couple more like that. A couple more practices like that. Good. Do it again. All right. Let's see a couple like that. Not real hard, just 50%. Not real fast when you squat with the legs. It's okay. That was good. Let's do it again.
like it. I call this squat and swing. Okay, what we're trying to do is get up here to the top. I feel that we just slightly squat and rotate the hips, and then from there, I'm just wanting the arms to swing out in front like that and grab the club. Okay. This is the one before I got this this was good here but I guess maybe a little too much hips kind of get the hips out in front but even then there's a lot of lag look how much throw and release you have through the ball right here yeah okay so what do I, what do I want to feel after doing that do I want to feel like my I'm like my shoulders kind of down more is that what I'm trying to feel uh yeah, but probably more of the club passing in front of your chest and your arms in front of your chest. Okay, like I want to show you what you know what we're seeing before. I'm trying to find my face on. Okay. Okay, so this is normal here. Belt up, risen real early. See what I mean right there? Yeah. Okay. Okay. And then watch this here. Hips rotate. And they rotate a little bit more, but. Yeah, that looks a lot better. Yeah. So when you get, say, to impact here, you're a little more synced up less hip rotation you can see the hips are out in front more in this video yeah okay so again it's not to flip the club we don't want that it's just that we don't want to lose our width and our space coming down and where the belt's up early so right. it's just feeling like you're kind of it's almost like when we, in the past when we've done the step drill where it's step you know what i mean so i want you to kind of feel that sequence as you're up step and swing it Okay. Okay. Yeah. Look at the height on that, man. <laughs> 